Hi, we're going to make a movie using Magic Movie Editor Pro 14 Plus. First thing I'm going to do is cl click here and create a new movie. When I've done that, I want to actually then perhaps bring in a file that I've already got, so I'm going to click Import File. I've already got it open in the folder that I'm looking for, and I'm going to bring in the movie start that we normally use. Click that, click OK and it brings it in. Now I want to edit the file so I'll go up to edit and click edit and now the file is now broken down into its different sections and if I click here or here or here or anywhere here I can then move the file through the different bits. Now if I want it to add some music to that file, I would then click import again. I would go to where I keep my music and we're just going to bring in this one here, Kelly Collapson. We're going to drag her down into this bottom line here like that. And when you look at the music file, you'll notice that it's come in on the third track down, but it's actually going to overlap the opening credits here, which has already got music in itself. So I'm going to move the music file up a little bit like that. So this way, the, mu the title credits, the opening credits, are going to carry on, and then the music file will start. Now, down on the right-hand corner, you will see the word Zoom and you can zoom in, you can either make it larger or you can make it smaller. I want to make it a bit smaller so I can now get the music file in the screen so you can actually see what I'm doing. If you take this music file now and put your mouse like that, if you were to just drag it along that way, I like you would normally do, if you've done that, then although you think you're cropping the music file, you're not actually cropping it at all because the rest of it here, which is not appearing, will still play, which will make your video even longer. So I'm just going to undo what I've just done by clicking undo. And the best way of doing this is position this red line and then play your video at the moment we've got the sound turned down so you can't actually hear the actual music file that's playing and then when you think okay well I've got to enough so you've got your music file here now click your little red line there so it starts at the beginning of the music and just click your play button and let it go through and then when you get to the point where you actually want to clip the song because you think well I don't want any more for song to appear just click your play button again and that will pause the red lines and then on your keyboard press the T button T for Tommy now if you look there you can see there is a grey area and over here is a red area the red area is saying what is going to be deleted if you actually click that one that becomes red and that stays grey but we want to delete the end of that song so I turn it back to the red and then on your keypad just over to your right press the delete button and then you have effectively clipped the song. Now for example say if you want to bring in a title click title um, we're going to pick a 3D scrolling title just bring it down onto your time frame onto any one of the tracks that you want to put it onto I'm going to put it just above the song and then this will just open up this screen, the title editor screen will open up. So we're going to just put Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. Song. Test. And then you click OK. Now if you go back to a particular part of the title that you've just typed on. If you need to change it, just double click it again and put in whatever you need to put in. This is telling you it's going to take 10 seconds for that title to move and it's telling you the position and what it's going to look like. So I'm going to click OK again. If I press play, we see it's there. 
Now, if you want that writing to be, say, somewhere else, <coughs> just press your stop button again, click on there, and then right hand click on the thing, and you will see title editor, video cleaning, image size and position. If you click image size and position, now we can then take that, we can either drag it to the right, drag it to the left, put it down a bit, put it up a bit, wherever you would want to put it. We're just going to leave it in the middle for now. But if for any reason, when you've done your slides, your text slides, suddenly you find that it's gone over to the left, you just move it back into the central position, come down, click OK, it will ask you, do you want to change all of the selected slides or just the current one? We're just going to change the currently selected object. And that's it. Just a short way to introduce Movie Editor 14 Plus. Now we're going to save this file. We're going to go to File. We're going to come down to Export Movie. And we're going to ex we got different choices here. We're going to export it as an MPEG. Click OK. By default, this will set this is set up to actually export the movie at the highest quality. And down here, it's going to tell you what the name is. But we don't want to overwrite our opening credit title, so we're going to change that to Kelly Clarkson. And then we're going to click OK. And up here you will see it's rendering it all, putting it all together. And then the Movie Maker opens up.